What's happening, comic fans? Got an amazing haul for you. Yes, that is right. A haul involving all amazing Spider-Man comics. Let's get into it. All right, people. So, as I always say, it's always a great time when you get comics in the mail because, hey, what a time to be alive. But this one's extra amazing because, again, it's all amazing Spider-Man. Big push towards amazing Spider-Man uh, ending up the year 2023 and then sliding into 2024 where again as i said still be hitting all my main titles but probably be looking to do what i did with the x-men the last year or two and kind of shifting a lot of focus to spider-man and i probably said this a couple times already in several other videos but uh sub 100 spider-man's for sure so silver and bronze but yes got a few nice books here got this stack of seven all for one seller some silver and bronze and then two other modern books that I just needed to, uh, that I just missed before and just never had a chance to. So one I already opened, uh, and then I just kept it. As you can see, like the seller did package it quite well, so I always appreciate that. So a couple cardboard planks, and it was taped down in there. Again, I had already opened this one just because I wanted to pull the book out. And then this one actually got, so I'm recording this one shortly after Christmas. This one arrived uh, the day I left town, so it was just kind of sitting there. So... All right, let's jump into, we'll do this one first. So we have Amazing Spider-Man 568, John Romita Jr. and uh, Klaus Janssen. This is the black and white sketch variant for, uh, what convention was it? It might have been, it was either Toronto Comic Con or Baltimore Comic Con from, what, was that 2008, give or take? I don't know. But I had the full color version, cover A. Uh, cover A or B, whichever it is. And I have the t-shirt of that one too, which is cool as hell. So black and white sketch variant there. And then this one here, crack right open, fast forward through this. Here we are. Oh yes. That one, it's like another, let me pull it out there. There's two bags. So it didn't really give it justice there, but here's the other one. This is the second printing with kind of more of the anti-venom look there, which they're all sharp as hell. If I had had the other, I'll probably just throw an image up of all three. I don't have easy access to my other 568. It's kind of uh, buried in another container. But there's that. So see those two. And like I said, I'll throw up an image of all three so you can see them all side by side by side. But yes, yeah, just two other covers uh, I just missed along the way. So happy to have those in the collection. And now we get to the other goodies. Again, I got all these from one seller uh, some time ago. Just finally showing these off again. I actually had recorded this video, but then... I was like, oh, I'm getting these other two books. So I figured, you know what, just scrap it and redo it all again. Uh, so here we are. Oof, we got my main man, Quicksilver, ASM 71, zipping around. And now Quicksilver, green costume there. This was, uh, I got good deals on all of these. A lot of offers sent, some counter offers on the coat. And I was like, all right, yep, I'm cool with that. Uh, great shipping, package well, all that good stuff. So yeah, ASM 71. Then we got Aunt May Assassin. If you, especially Bronze Age Spider-Man stuff, if you know Aunt May, the drama, Aunt May and Doc Ock, all that. So yeah, got a little yellow in there as well. But yes, this is it. The last battle. Stay back, Spider-Man. I warn you, if you take one more step towards that man, I'll fire. What would she say? Yeah, I'm going to fire. So yeah, I'm May with the strap. Get the strap. And then suddenly the Smasher, what is this? So that was 115, here's 116. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to remember offhand how close to finishing up the teens, those one teens. I'm not 100% sure, but there's a Smasher. I think I'm still probably about halfway through that actually. But yeah. I even jump way up to 140 with, who's on this? Spidey, the Jackal, the Grizzly, and a battle to the death. Another one of those kind of segmented covers there with a lot of different frames, uh, similar to, what did I show? I think it was 127, which had the Spider Slayer in the center there. At this time, it's just Spidey. Then uh, a couple other shots of him around there, loading up his web shooter, and then those other villains there. And Jameson, of course, the old menace there, top center. So there's that. And then Crisis on Campus, ASM 68, with the green, which this looks sharp. The green and the webbing up top, which I absolutely dug. So, last one had the uh, Marvel Comics group border, but this one we got the box art, of course, too. 
that green and that white up there just definitely just sets this off. Just like a nice campus rights, all that good stuff. Some absolute gems in this haul here. Again, silver, bronze age stuff, making progress. So you've been following for a while. If you haven't, you definitely should. Hit that subscribe button for more comic book insanity. But I've been doing, had been doing a lot of work on my X-Men runs. Like bronze age pretty much done. Except for, I haven't done the, gotten to the reprints, which are issues 67 through 93. And I was said, still do not have a giant size X-Men yet. But made a lot of progress. That Silver Age stuff. So going to switch focus a little bit to some Spider-Man. Probably a lot of bit, to be honest, because there's so many other good books. And then hitting the sub 100s heavy, including this one. We got second appearance of Kingman, Kingpin, not Kingman, Kingpin uh, in 51 here with some hoodlums there. And the clutches of the kingpin, the old timey cigar there on the little stick, whatever it was called. I still never known the name for that little thing, but cigarette extender, whatever. There he is, Big Kane, and some hoodlums cocking the guns. And old, uh, old Fisky there it does have a little bit of writing on him. You can kind of see it on his jacket there, but minor, small scale. Another one of these had like a date stamp on it, which I like date stamps sometimes. Or, they're just kind of cool. Like they give a little, I don't know, a little bit of extra character to a cover. And the big one, one I've been waiting for for a while. It was one of two villain first appearances I had my eye on as far as the short term. Like, all right, which one of these two am I going to find? And then I was kind of searching both of them. But this one was the one, and that's how it kind of led me to this other seller, or the seller with all those other books. Who says this isn't the Marvel age of vile new villains? You and Spidey are about to be jolted by... The Sinister Shocker. That's right. ASM 46. First appearance of the Shocker. Look at him. Oh, yes. Look at that. Just like uh, knocking down some columns there. Yes. Shocker. The other one was the Rhino, which uh, probably be one of the next books I pick up at some point. We'll see. But yes. Oh, uh, yeah. This is, it was just a nice copy, too. Good deal. And so, was, yeah. Just, again, two modern books there, Circuit Printing, and a, a convention exclusive variant there. And then, yeah, Silver and Bronze Age Spidey. So I think I might have said in another video, uh, like a lot of the sub 100s is mostly Silver, of course. And then I think it's Bronze Age for like the last, I don't know, less than, it might be around not even 15 issues, give or take. Close to uh, issue 90. But yes, some absolute gems all around. Kingpin, Shocker, Smasher, Aunt May, Doc Ock, uh, Quicksilver in there, Jackal, Grizzly, and yes, just some absolute bangers. So yeah, you're gonna see a whole lot of Spider-Man in my hall, uh, in my halls for 2024. So yes, lots of good fun there. Oh, these books are so sharp. I'm gonna throw that picture up there so you can look at all three of these again. Uh, such a good time. Dan Slot, John Romita Jr. Uh, Klaus Jansen, I don't remember which who white that is, and then Wade and Granov there, the font on that, the logo lettering and all that looks dope as hell. But yes, but as that uh, amazing haul there, so yes, uh, share some thoughts in the comments below. We kind of getting near the end. Well, actually, by the time I upload this, it probably will be 2024. So we'll see. Uh, so we have you made your want list yet? Your wish list? What you got your eye on? Have you done any wrap up? Just kind of thinking about what you did what you kind of completed or whatever you achieved in 2023, share some of those in the comments below. Cause I'm definitely curious to hear what other collectors have had in mind, what they've thinking about and especially what you're looking forward to in the upcoming year. Uh, so yeah, share all that in the comments below and make sure you like, if you like this sort of content, hit that like button and subscribe. So you can just kind of connect and keep engaging a more comic book shenanigans. I always looking forward to connecting with people and hearing from everybody. Uh, but yes, that is that. Uh, happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting. This is Dino's Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out.